To make this really cool stripe pattern, you're gonna need two of your favorite colored yarns, a crochet hook that correlates with the yarn size. Today I'm using a five millimeter hook. I already did a foundation row of 60 to make a headband, but I wanted just to jump right into the stitch work for you. Scissors, darning needle cut, sewing ends, and of course a tape measure if you like. Let's get started. I have my foundation row completed. You will be working this on a round, not in rows. If you want to know how to do this in rows, the technique is gonna be a little bit different when you flip your work and go the opposite direction. Let me know if you would like a tutorial on how to do it in rows. We are going to be working this entire project in front post double crochets. So your first stitch, you are going to chain one, you're going to yarn over, and work the post as a front double crochet. You aren't working into your stitches. You are actually working around each stitch. So each stitch is considered a post. You're gonna be working into the gaps. Find your first post, go in between the stitches, come back out between the next stitch, you're going to yarn over, pull through. This entire project, keep in mind your tension. You don't want it to be really tight. You also don't want it to be super loose, but you want it to be consistent so that your stripes look nice and consistent. You're going to yarn over, pull through two. You now have two on your hook. You are going to drop color one. You pick up color two. Make sure you have a long enough tail so that you can sew it in later and that you can also not pull it through while you're working. I like to, while I do this, I like to hold on to my work. I like to work, hold on to my, I like to hold. When I attach my yarn, I like to use my fingers behind to hold on to the tail and then I use my thumb to hold on to the front, excuse me, yarn over and pull through too. Make sure that your first color falls behind your work. If you need to, I like to hold it with this finger here. I don't know if you can see that, sorry. So that it's out of the way. That way all that's free is my working yarn. You are going to yarn over and work your next front post double crochet. You are going into this space, out through the next space. Yarn over. I also like to make sure that my yarn drops low on the stitch. Pull up, make sure it's the same consistency as the first in your tension. You now have two on your hook. You are going to drop color two. You are going to grab color one. You are going to finish your double crochet color one. Make sure color two is behind you and out of the way. Yarn over, work your next front post. Like I said, I like my yarn to go down low. Don't do a shallow front post. You want elongated post. Yarn over, pull through two, drop. Boom. Okay, you're going to continue that all the way around. I'll meet you at the end of the row. We are at the last stitch of this row. If you've been alternating correctly, this should end on the opposite color or color number two than what you started with. We're gonna do our last front post half double crochet of the round.
do our color change. Find the top of the first stitch of the row. Make sure that green or that second color is behind. And slip stitch. Just so you know, when you are getting ready to finish a row, you want to actually be dragging your color two with you over. Because if you notice, if you don't, do it and then you go in to start your first color two double crochet you have this yarn that pulled over so what we're gonna do when we go to finish up our row for our round you're gonna go when you do your slip knot or your when you go to slip stitch sorry you're gonna pull your green over with you and then slip stitch with it. Now you're going to want to do your front post with the green. Pull it forward just a little bit. Yarn over. Go into your post. Bring this in front. Don't pull anything too tight. Don't pull that real tight either. Pull through. So now your green is in between and behind. Put your green back behind. Pull through your two. Pull this up a little bit. See it now disappeared. Bring up your green and pull through your two. Okay, so now you're ready to work your next stitch. So now if you look, you have your design still working without the pulled yarn across. At first, working on this, it's kind of like taking an awkward photo and you don't know what to do with your hands. Once you figure out what you're doing with your hands and it moves a lot more smoothly and quicker, this isn't a super fast build because you are dropping and picking up so much. What is cool about this though is if you want to do half doubles or switch up, you know, maybe even triples. I haven't tried but to see what the triple would look like, but I bet it would be still pretty sweet. You just keep doing this over and over and over again until you get the height that you want. Another thing I like is having to, making sure to pull out plenty of working yarn. That way I'm not fighting it when I'm doing the color change for the tension. Okay, I am coming up to the last few stitches of the final row that I was gonna do, including the foundation row. I've done eight rows so far. It's a little over three inches thick. Um, like I said, you can make this as thin or as thick as you like. If you want to do a headband, this would be really cute for like leg warmers, I think, or like boot warmers, anything like that. So I finished the last row of the alternating colors that I wanted for the length. This is a little over three inches wide. I cut my green yarn dropped it and now i'm going to do a row on the top to match the bottom row and all that i'm going to do to do that is yarn over and i'm going to do half double crochet or yes half double crochet foundations 
around the top, around every single stitch. Make sure to be watching your tension so that you don't tighten it up as you move around. You want to keep the stretch that you've built into it already. All right, and with this, I have 60 stitches. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that all the way around and I'll meet you at the end. I'm coming up on the end here, my last few half doubles. I am going to slip stitch to join, cut, sew in my ends. All right, check it out. We're all done. It's one side, the other side. <laughs>